Well, initially Diane came in and she brought Ovel with her and met with myself and the other manager and we learned of her level of experience and knowledge with children with special education and working in the schools and also the level of training that these dogs had in comparison to a typical therapy dog. So um, with our safety concerns, we dealt with that in a couple of different ways. Diane and I worked with the regulatory and compliance officer at both STARS and the hospital, and Diane provided a significant amount of, um, actually extensive amount of information um, regarding the dog's health standards, their vaccinations, um, their health tests that they go through each year. And then together, Diane and I worked with um, Lene, our regulatory compliance officer, and developed policies and procedures um, for Destin's Paw, which included, um, so how did the dogs actually differ from just regular therapy dogs that were visiting the hospital just as pet therapy dogs. So how would these enhanced therapy and modality dogs be different for us? So that was one of the first things. Um, we also looked at um, as far as allergies and latex with the dog's toys, those are two big things, addressing those from a hospital standpoint. So we created a latex-free room and also an allergy-free room, so the dogs and latex toys are not allowed in that particular room. Um, we addressed the infection control um, by Diane providing the information from the veterinarian annually, along with um, just we have a lot of uh, sani hand wipes that we use to wipe down the toys after use with the dogs and with the kids as well. Um, we also looked at Diane's the certifications with Canine Companions and um, just continue to develop an entire list and book so that the dogs would meet, meet the regulatory compliance standards for the hospital. So. Once we were able to put together the policy and procedure book, the next step was to get um, approval from our senior leadership team and also the hospital management team to be sure that we were in compliance and that we had their approval. The next step was to uh, get Diane on. How would she be able to interact with the patients, her and the dogs, and have that direct contact? So the next step in the process was to have Diane actually go through volunteer services and become an official volunteer and that way she goes through all of the same health standards and um, procedures that regular employees have to go through. And that also, um, by becoming an official volunteer, then she is able to maintain HIPAA and confidentiality as do regular therapists.